Hey, it's Ken Finnan at Capital Advantage Tutoring, and it's time for part two of option suitability. Yesterday, I put up the, the early ones. Now I'm going into the different kind of strategies. So if you have a company that is about to announce earnings or there's something's going to come and you don't know whether it's going to be good or bad, what you can do is you can bet on that it's going to move but don't care which way. So you could go long straddle. You could buy a straddle where you buy a call and buy a put. So if it goes up or down, I don't care. Buy a, strat, buy a call to go if it's going to go up. Buy a put if it goes down. I make money either way. That's a long straddle. But you need movement. You have unlimited gain, and you can only lose the premium that you spent. But what if you think nothing's going to happen for a while? You know we could just sell options, but let's try another one. Let's do sell a straddle, a short straddle. A short straddle is where you sell a call and sell a put. Sell a call and sell a put, so you're bringing in the income on both sides. So you want nothing to happen. So if you sell a 50 call and sell a 50 put, you take in the premium and you hope that that's nothing happens and they expire and you keep the money. The problem with that is that if it does move, you could have unlimited loss potential. Whereas the long straddle, you have unlimited gain potential. The short straddle, you have unlimited loss potential. So that's risky. So it's fine, but it's risky. You got to know your shit, okay? So if you want volatility, you do a long straddle. If you want stability and income in your pocket and you want it to expire, you do a short straddle. Now, on another side, we have a thing called spread. So remember, straddles are buy a call, buy a put, or sell a call, sell a put. Straddles, that's straddles. Now, those spreads are a little different. So you have two calls, and you buy one and sell the other. Or you have two puts, and you buy one and sell the other. So if you're bullish, you would do a debit call spread. So a debit call spread is where, you, where you're spending money on the spread. And, you, and so it's a debit call. The word debit is the same as buy. So buy a call spread would be bullish because when you buy calls, you're bullish. So if we did a credit call spread, it's where you're bringing in money and you're doing two calls. Credit means sell. So sell credit, sell call is bearish. So if I'm going to do a credit call spread, I'm bearish. The good thing about spreads is that they have very limited gain and very limited loss. They're, they don't have a lot of risk. It's because you're capped on the gain and you're capped on the loss. So they're kind of safe in a way. Now, on the put side, if you buy a put, if you buy a put spread, that means you're spending more on the one put, on the buy put than the sell put, so then you're bearish. So a debit put spread is bearish, and a credit put spread is bullish. But again, you have limited gain, limited loss. So if I have a debit call spread, I'm bullish. If I have a credit call spread, I'm bearish. If I have a debit put spread, I'm bearish. If I have a credit put spread, I'm bullish. But again, very limited gain. Very limited loss. You can only lose what's kind of, you can only make or lose money inside the range of the two options, which if you see my other videos, you can talk about it, but that's it.